While we do not want to lose valuable members of our SGU community or stop pay for any staff or faculty members, we cannot return to safe operations on campus without everyone being vaccinated. These policies are also consistent with the actions of other major universities around the world. Words of Dr. Richard Labowitz, Vice Chancellor of the St. George's University. Today, the St. George's University began the next phase in its plan to welcome back staff and faculty to campus. In a press release this evening, the university said its primary commitment is to provide a safe environment for its community. As part of the university's long-term planning for safely returning for the August 2021 term, COVID-19 vaccination has been made a requirement for all students, faculty, staff, administrators, vendors and visitors entering campus. SGU says it remains steadfast in its commitment to every member of the SGU community, from the newest to the longest serving members who contribute to the success of its students. The university maintains its support to all of its staff members and says says it will continue to work closely with the Grenada Technical Allied Workers Union to ensure the safe return of faculty and staff members and members of the union. According to the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Richard Labowitz, planning for the safe return to campus began several months ago and faculty and staff were notified in advance of changes to the campus entry policy. He said while they have maintained pay for all faculty and staff over the past 15 months, including salary increases and bonuses, they cannot continue to do this for those who do not return to work. Dr. Labowitz said their goal is to have all staff and faculty return to work on campus. SGU continues to provide vaccination opportunities by partnering with the Ministry of Health to host vaccination days on campus for faculty, staff and students. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.